If you don't know who I am, I'm Pastor Brian Gunner at First Baptist in Pollock. About a year and a half ago, I called Louisiana Right to Life and said, we need to have a pro-life march in central Louisiana. I met my good friend Ryan, and over the last year and a half, we've been working together to make this community one of the most pro-life communities in the state of Louisiana. Today, as we marched, I uh, worked out how to estimate the size of the crowd because last year we had a hard time doing that. Based upon the size of the crowd, I know many have already gone home, but based on the size of the, size of the crowd that marched, we know that more than 5,000 people came out to stand for life today. And I want to thank you for making it happen. We will put an end to abortion in America. Amen? We're not going to stand for it any longer. The children of this nation will live. But it's not enough just to be against abortion. We also have to be for life. We have to be there to minister to mothers, to fathers, and their children. Lily of the Valley is an important ministry here in Alexandria. And we're also starting another pro-life ministry. It's going to be a free pregnancy center where women can go and get a free ultrasound, a free pregnancy test, where women can go and get free counseling and help and care, a place that's not supported by the government, but supported by the people of God, our local churches right here in central Louisiana. That place which we are beginning is named Sinla Pregnancy Center. And right now we have about a hundred churches that are financially supporting Sinlaw Pregnancy Center. I want to tell you that if you want to help take part, you contact my church office at First Baptist Pollock and let us know that you want to help us save lives right here in Sinlaw. Also, on top of the levee up here in about the middle, you're going to see a table with a large teddy bear on top of it and some baby bottles. That's Sin Law Pregnancy Center's table, and I want to encourage you to go up there and drop a donation in the jar. Miss D's right up there with the red hair waving her hand. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? She's right up there at the Sin Law Pregnancy Center table. Please go up there, visit our table. Mothers, if you are here today and you are a pregnant or newborn mother, we have a free gift for you. We have a care package that we want to give you, so please don't leave today, mothers, without going and visiting our table for Sin Law Pregnancy Center. I want to thank you all so much for coming out here today. A few housekeeping rules before we leave. The vans up there on the levee, there's some nice gentlemen in orange jackets who are going to help people load onto those vans and be bused back to where you parked at Louisiana College. So if you need a ride back, wait right up there on that side and they'll bring you back. Also, I want to thank so much Kelly and Kristen for coming out and doing music today. Were they amazing? I want you to know that they came out and did this today at their own expense. And that's an amazing thing for them to do. And I think the best way that we can show our appreciation to Kelly and Kristen and their band is by supporting their music. I want to encourage you to go on Facebook, like them, listen to their stuff, buy their music, support them, because they are local Christian recording artists, they are pro-life, and they stand with us, and they support our movement. I'm going to end in a word of prayer, and there's going to be one final short message before we dismiss. So let's go to the King of Heaven and plead on behalf of unborn children. Father, we come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And, oh God, how we ask that you would awaken the hearts of your people, that we would stand together, that we would stand for the unborn, for the disabled, for the elderly, for those with special needs, that we would stand for every life, and that we would demand that abortion must end in the United States of America. Lord, it has to stop. It has to end. And Lord, we plead that you would bring an end to this great evil through we, your people. Lord, I pray that you would empower our local churches to wake us up 
to the cry of the unborn. Lord, how I ask that you would fill the hearts of the people here today, that there would be a fire that would be blazing in their heart that they would desire to do all that they can, every man, every woman, every child, to stand for life. I pray for these pro-life ministries in our community and around our state. Lord, I pray that our people would come back next year and every year as we take a stand right here for life. And Lord, I pray that every year the size of the crowds would grow. And I pray that the number of abortions would fall until that number is zero. Lord, we know that you are sovereign over all things. We know that you are in control that Planned Parenthood and the abortion industry does not own the lives of our children, but our King, Jesus, does. And we turn to you, Lord, to save the lives of these children. So we plead that you would help us to stand for life, to proclaim your gospel, and to bring Christ's glory until he comes again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage the LC students to listen to one last message from Kaylee before we dismiss. Thank you, Brian. If you're an LC student here, we should have two faculty in the back with orange clipboards, and so you can sign up for your cultural and spiritual credit. So just before you leave, make sure you do that. And I just want to thank again everyone for attending and hope to see you all here at the next March. Thank you. Thank you.